to Gentle Yoga. This is Leo Bray on behalf of Kristen Olson's Urban Yoga Center in Palm Springs. Visit us online at urbanyoga.org or Kristen Olson's Urban Yoga Center on Facebook to check out our schedule of daily offerings online. Check out where and when you can join us in person if you're local and stop by the tip jar. You can make contributions, donations to support us uh, via Zelle or Venmo or PayPal. We'll start out this morning's gentle class on our backs in a reclined posture that's called constructive rest or sometimes also known as active rest. So you lie down on your back, draw your knees towards your chest. Usually the next cue is hug your knees. We're not gonna hug our knees. You can let your arms just rest on the ground. And let each leg drift around independently. Just let the weight of your legs sort of hang, rocking your femurs in the hip sockets. Whatever movement your legs seem to want, just kind of floaty movements. And one at a time, we'll let our feet plop down onto the mat. Let the soles of your feet land. Plop one, plop the other. And we want to make this as passive as we can in the lower body here. Letting your knees lean in towards each other with the soles of your feet planted, usually some degree of Heels pointing out, toes pointing in. So play with scooting your feet around, adjust the position of your feet. See how passive you can make the posture feel for your legs. Once you have that sorted out, bring your hands to your bottom ribs so that your fingers are on your stomach and your thumbs are on your rib cage. So the bottom rib sort of crosses diagonally on your palm. Your wrists are long and open, elbows are resting on the floor. And that's our posture. Bring your attention to your breath to let it slow down and get deeper. This posture gives us a good degree of grounding, some fairly passive opening for the biggest joints, hips and shoulders. and allow some time for the fluid in our spinal column to redistribute and let the discs between the vertebrae hydrate more evenly. Let those discs expand, which actually helps your spine lengthen. If you do this for 17 minutes, your spine will lengthen out all the way. We won't do it for 17 minutes because we only have an hour to practice here. That's a good thing to know. It's a posture I often use to Take a meditation practice, set a timer on the watch or the phone for 20 minutes, giving myself three minutes to get situated with no rush. And when the timer goes off, I know I've been in my constructive rest for 17 minutes or so. Scan your body, see what's going on in addition to the movement of your breath, the nice supportive contact with the ground. whatever sensations are present for you. Being particularly mindful of anything that doesn't feel so great. If there's any soreness or stiffness in your body, you might think of sending your breath towards these trouble spots, breathing some ease and comfort in where it's needed. And make mental notes of any issues so that you can take care of them during practice by skipping or modifying any part of what I'll be doing. And whenever something draws your attention away from observing your body and focusing on your breath, just gently redirect and come back with the intent of observing and taking care. If there are any additional intentions you wish to add to these shared intentions, you can go ahead and do that now.
with our intentions in place, let's take three deep cleansing breaths. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth with a sigh. Start to move a little, let your knees wiggle back and forth a bit. You can start to move your hands and arms in whatever way you like. Just gradually come on out of stillness. But savoring that opening relaxation, savoring that nice grounding. Draw your knees towards your chest. Now you can hug your knees. And you can rock and roll on your back. That's usually the next cue, right? Just massaging your back against the floor in whatever way feels good at your back. Hold on to your right knee, extend and lower your left leg down along the mat, press your calf and your heel to the floor. Reach your right arm to the side, feel your shoulder blades press to the floor. Draw your right knee over towards the left, turn your head towards the right. Come on back to center. Draw your left knee in, hug your left knee, extend and lower your right leg and your left arm. Draw your knee to the right and turn your head to the left. on back to center, draw both knees in. Inhale, extend your arm and the leg all the way out. Exhale, curl up in a ball. Continue for a few more breaths like that, using the whole inhale to lengthen, the whole exhale to bring the limbs in. We'll start to make our way up to a seat. Two ways to do that. You might tip to one side and press your head to the floor, or you might roll your spine along the mat, rocking back and forth, maybe playing at the top of the movement to pause and balance a little and engage your core. Come to any comfortable seated position or kneeling if you'd rather kneel than sit. Feel your contact with the ground. Think of the length of your spine to help you sit tall without being rigid or stiff. Let your chin come towards your chest. We'll make some slow, gentle circles for the neck. Roll your ear towards your shoulder and look up towards the ceiling over to the other shoulder. If you detect any tight spots, maybe pause at the tight spot and rock back and forth to release that tension.
change direction at some point. And when you finish the next circle, lift your chin and look forward. Bring your hands to the sides, rest your fingertips on the floor. Inhale, lift your left arm up. Exhale to reach to your right, feeling for length from your hip up through your fingertips. Inhale to come upright. As you exhale, bring the left hand to the floor behind you, right hand to your left leg. Inhale to lengthen up again. Exhale, invite your body to twist some more. Repeat for each breath, find length, and see about going deeper as you exhale. Let yourself unwind, come back through center. Inhale, raise your right arm. Exhale, reach to the left. Inhale to come up. As you exhale, come into that twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Let yourself unwind and come back to center. Let's come up onto our hands and knees. Tip to one side or tip forward, however you want to get there. Bring your hips over your knees, shoulders over your wrists or a bit behind your wrists if it's too much on your wrists to have your shoulders directly above wrists. Reach your right foot back, press against the ball of your foot for a couple breaths. Ease off the pressure on your foot, slide it out to the side, bring it in line with your hip. And we'll start some rocking motion. Exhale, sit back a bit. Inhale, come forward. Be mindful of the sensation on your inner right thigh. That's a spot it seems easiest to overdo. So a little goes a long way. Sometimes just do as much as it feels beneficial to you. Play with the edge, but don't force anything. And let's pause at the forward end of that rocking. Walk your hands forward. Extend your arms, let your head come down between your arms. Scoot your hands over to the left, maybe a foot. Press into your hands to send your left hip about two inches towards your left heel.
Walk your hands back to center. Extend them back in towards your shoulders. Swing your right leg back and bring your right knee down. Take some cows and cats in. Now bring your heart forward, let your head and tail go up. Exhale, bring your heart up, let your head and tail come down. After your next exhale, return to table. Reach back and press into the ball of your left foot. Take a couple breaths there. Relax the pressure on your foot and sweep it out to the side. Exhale, sit back a bit. Inhale, glide forward. Remember that a little goes a long way. Let the movement maybe grow a little bigger, gradually, gently. Pausing at the forward part of the rocking. Walk your hands further forward, let your head come down between your arms. Scoot your hands over to the right. Press into your hands, send your right hip back just a bit. Walk your hands back to center and then back in under your shoulders. Swing your leg back, draw your knee down. Take those cow and cat breaths again. Come back to the table, step your right foot up between your hands and your left foot up to meet it. You could use blocks under your hands to ease those transitions. Sway back and forth, then one leg, then the other. Hands dragging on the floor or hanging in the air or clasping your elbows. Heavy arms, heavy head. Gently nod your head. And shake your head. Inhale, lift up part way, press your hands to the front of your legs, let the crown of your head reach forward away from your tailbone. With an exhale, relax down. Inhale, roll up to standing, hands overhead, palms together. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Let your hands fall to your sides. Take a few breaths in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Close your eyes if you want. You just feel into your feet. Take in the swaying of your breath. You can let everything be soft and still remain upright. Your body knows what to do. A 
open your eyes if they're closed. Lift your left shoulder towards your ear. Shift it back and let it down. And then your right shoulder up and back and down. Inhale, reach out, arms parallel to the ground. Exhale, reach for your shoulder blades and hug yourself. And bring your chin towards your shoulder. Roll it down past your sternum and up to the other side. Down past the sternum, up to the first one. Face forward. Inhale, open your arms. As you exhale, cross them the other way. Bring your chin towards your shoulder. Draw those half circles with your chin. Face forward again. Inhale to open up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, face forward. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, face forward. Exhale, let your arms down. Inhale, your arms out and up overhead. Interlace your fingers, reach your palms up, look up at your hands, lift up your heart. With an inhale, come upright. On the exhale, bend to the right. Inhale to come up, exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, come up, exhale, let your arms come down. Inhale, your arms out and up overhead. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale to fold. Step back to plank. On an exhale, slowly lower all the way to the floor. Press into your hands. Inhale, lift your head and chest to whatever height feels okay for your lower back. Exhale, rock back. Pass to the table, curl your toes under, press into your feet, engage your legs, press into your hands, engage your arms. Make your way to downward dog and walk your dog. Pedal your feet up and down. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, lift up part way. Exhale, down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift part way. Exhale, down. Step back to plank. Exhale and lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, bring your heart forward. Exhale, back and up. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift part way. Exhale, down. Step back to plank. On an exhale, lower. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, back and up. 
We take three cleansing breaths in downward facing dog. Let your knees come down. Make your way to child's pose for a minute. Vary it in any way you like. Notice your breath. Scan your body. Inhale, come forward and up to table. Step your left foot up between your hands. Bring your hands to your knee, lift yourself up. Find steadiness here, adjust as needed. If you feel unsteady. Exhale, sink forward in the hips. Inhale, glide back. Add in the arms if you like. As you sink forward, lower your arms parallel to the ground. As you come back, raise your arms up alongside your ears. And you could do one arm if you want to keep the left hand on your knee for steadiness. You could even keep both hands on your knee. Just focus on the hips and legs. From the top of the movement, let's twist to the right. Left hand can still drop to the knee anytime for steadiness. Come through center with your hands by your heart. Then twist to the left, drop the right hand to your knee if you need to. Come back to center. Bring your hands down. Step your left knee back to the floor and your right foot forward between your hands. Bring your hands to your right knee and lift your torso. Stabilize. When you're ready, start to rock. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, come back. Bring in the arm movements if you like. Down as you come forward, up as you come back. Exhaling, inhaling. Continuous smooth breath, continuous smooth movement.
and twist to the left. Come through center and twist to the right. Come through center, bring your hands down. Bring your right knee back. Make your way to child's pose for a minute. Once again, check in with your body and your breath. Inhale, come forward and up to table. Curl your toes under. Walk your hands in towards your knees. Come up standing on your knees with your feet. Lower legs engaged. Sit back towards your heels to whatever depth is okay for you. You might put a prop between your heels and your butt or the floor in your butt. And you can always adjust the height. This creates a lot of sensation in your feet as you stretch your feet. You get to decide how much sensation it is. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Interlace your fingers. Reach your palms forward. Raise those linked hands up overhead. Lower them down out in front. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, up through center line. Exhale, out and down. We'll repeat that sequence with the hands and arms two more times. Inhale, out and up. Exhale, hands to heart. Interlace fingers, maybe the opposite way. Reach your palms forward. Lift up overhead. Lower down. Hands to heart. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, out and down. Inhale, out and up. Exhale, hands to heart. Interlace fingers. Reach palms forward, raise up, lower down, hands to heart. Inhale up through center line, exhale out and down. Tip forward onto your hands, untuck your toes, rest the tops of your feet on the floor and tap them out. Cross your ankles, walk your hands in towards your knees, rock over your ankles to come to a seat or tip onto one hip and spin to come to a seat. I'm facing the wide way, I should be over here near my props. <laughs> Extend your legs forward and flex your feet back. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold down over your legs, let your knees bend if they want to bend. On the inhales, think of the crown of your head moving forward. On the exhales, think of your forehead lowering.
Inhaling, walk your hands up the front of your legs. Sit yourself up. Using your arms, open your legs to whatever degree is okay for you. Bend the right leg, bring the right foot over to the left leg. Pivot your torso in the center of your chest at your left foot. Flex your left foot back towards you. Inhale, reach up overhead. Exhale, pull down over your leg. Take a couple breaths. Slowly reach your left arm out to the side and turn your head to the left. Turn your thumb towards the floor. Reach for your right hip and draw your left shoulder back. Extend your arm, bring that left hand back over by the right hand and take a couple breaths. Reach your right arm to the right and turn your head to the right. Turn your thumb down, reach for your left hip and draw your right shoulder back. Extend your arm, point your thumb up, reach your arm up alongside your ear, right hand reaching overhead towards your left hand. Reach your arm up and out to the right. Sweep it across, bring your right hand by your left hand. Walk your hands up the front of your leg, lift your torso. Using your arms, extend the right leg, bend the left one, bring the foot across. Pivot your torso. Flex your right foot. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull down. Open your right arm out to the side. Turn your head to the right. Point your thumb down. Reach for your left hip. Draw your right shoulder back. Extend your arm, bring your right hand back to your left hand. Reach your left arm out, turn your head to the left. Turn your thumb down, reach for your right hip and draw your left shoulder back. Extend your arm, turn your thumb up, reach up alongside your ear and overhead, 
towards your right hand. Reach back up and back out and slowly come across. Walk your hands up your leg and sit up. Let your arms help your legs. Extend the left one and bring the soles of your feet together. Leave a big space between your pelvis and your heels. Reaching under or over your ankles, walk your hands forward on the mat. Let your head hang down, breathe into your lower back. Walk your hands back, lift your torso. Keep your feet together, bring them in as close as you can. Grab your toes in your hands, wriggle on your seat, tilting your pelvis forward. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, hinge of the hips, fold forward. Spine is long. When the long spine isn't lowering anymore, let your head down, breathe into your hips. Inhale, slowly sit up. Let your arms help your legs. Lift your knees towards each other. Rest your feet on the ground. Rest your hands on the ground. Wiggle your feet to the edges of the mat. Allow your knees to go back and forth. If you like, turn your head to the opposite side as your knees go down. Bring your feet in about hip width apart. Come down onto your back. Heels in as close as they'll come. You can put a block between your knees on the middle position to use as a spacer. You can play with bridge pose, press into the soles of your feet. Inhale to lift your hips up. If you want to go deeper, opening your heart, you could wriggle your shoulder blades towards each other and clasp your hands under you and reach your knuckles towards your heels. If you do that or not, be sure your neck stays relaxed, your head rests on the floor. If you're clasping your hands, release them. 
Exhale, slowly let your hips down. Float up and down for a few rounds of breath at your own pace. Inhale, going up and exhale, going down. And let's come to supported bridge by lifting up, sliding a block under the sacrum and coming to rest on top of the block. And just letting that block do all the work for a minute. Maybe bringing some nice sensations of release in the pelvis, hips and lower back. When you're ready to come out, press into the soles of your feet. Inhale, lift your hips again. Remove that block. Exhaling, slowly come down. Take a little pause after you have landed. Move the blocks out of the way. Bring your knees towards your chest and hug your knees. Rock and roll. Massage your back against the floor. Grab your strap, run it under your feet and hold one end in each hand. Reach your hands and feet up. Point your toes up. Point your toes down. Let your feet relax and slide them apart. Slide them towards each other. Take your right foot out, press your right leg to the ground. Hold both parts of the strap with your right hand, reach your left arm to the side. Draw your leg over to the right, turn your head to the left and try to keep both shoulders grounded. Bring it all back to center. Take the strap with your left hand, press down on the front of your right hip, let your limbs fall to the left. Keeping the pelvis level to the ground, keeping the right side down to help the left side open.
very gently and come back to center. Raise your right leg, step into the strap, take your left foot out, press your left leg down, reach your right arm to the side, draw your leg to the left and turn your head to the right. Come back to center, hold the strap with your right hand, press down on your left hip, let your limbs fall over to the right. Nice and easy, come back up, lift your left leg, draw your knees in, set your strap aside, reach your feet up, reach your hands up to grab your legs or your feet and play with bending and straightening your legs. You can invert for as long as you like. If there are other postures or movements you want to add on before your final resting pose, feel free. And when you feel complete, you can make your way there. Find a comfortable stillness in which to absorb the benefits of your practice. Maybe focusing on breath or on an intention you had, or on nothing in particular.
Give yourself some even deeper breaths. Let your body move around bit by bit. Allowing your movements to gradually get bigger and bigger. Take your time, move mindfully. When you're ready for bigger movements, you can gently make your way up to a seat. And bring your hands to your heart. Thank you for sharing practice today. The light within you sees and bows to the same light within you. Namaste.